Got a Photoshop question? Brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals. It's Ask Dave. Jamie Murdo asked the question, if I've recorded an action, how can I change the settings of a filter? Very good question because when you record an action that includes a filter, it's very specific. So if you include a blur filter or a sharpen filter, whatever it might be, it's going to record the very specific settings that you use when you record the filter. However, that doesn't mean you're stuck with those numbers. So let's take a look here. I've got a little action I have for sharpening that converts it to LAB mode, clicks on the lightness channel, and then does unsharp mask this amount. Now when I recorded it for demonstration purposes, I have an amount that's frankly way higher than you normally would because you wouldn't want to sharpen this much typically. So I want to edit this. Well, I have two options. One of them is maybe every time I sharpen a photograph, I want to choose settings dependent on the photograph. If that's the case, then in the actions, anytime you record an action, if there's a step in that action that has settings, for example, a filter or an adjustment or anything where you can change the settings, you'll see there's a little empty box here just to the left of the unsharp mask right there. If I click on that, this is like a toggle switch. It's actually called a modal control, but what it does is it toggles on and off the filter, meaning an interrupt switch. So if I now play this action, what will happen is it will do the first few steps, but then it pauses at the filter and says, how much would you like to apply the filter? So now I can come in and change it to this much. I click OK and the remainder of the action runs. So that's one possibility, but that is really only best if you're doing individual images. If I needed to do a batch action with many images, I wouldn't want to stop each one and choose those settings. So the other option, but this one is a little more kind of permanent because you're going to actually change these settings right here. And all you do is you just double click on that step. When you do, it opens the unsharp mask filter. You change the settings to whatever you want and you click OK. And that means from now on, these are the new settings for that filter. So any action that you either create or you download from somewhere, if you're not happy with the settings in one step, just double click on that step and you can change the settings and that becomes the new settings from now on. One little side note, just be prepared that when you do re-record that step, it actually does apply it to your photograph. So make sure that you then, once you finish recording, undo that step if you don't actually want it applied because that was just we were just leaving it for recording. But that's a very simple way where you can take an action you've already created or someone else has created and edit the settings for steps within that action. Ask your short Photoshop question using the contact form here at Kelby TV or through Twitter at Dave Cross. Thanks for watching Ask Dave, brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals and the Dave Cross Workshops. We'll see you next time.